Hi guys, Mojo Reeves here. I'm behind a couple fits, <laughs> so I thought why not combine a couple figures. So here we have SSF Venom that I repainted and SSF Toby, great figure. So yeah, let's take a closer look at these guys. So yeah, for Toby, let's start out with the accessories. He comes with this mask, he can hold it in his hands, which is really nice. I like the extra. So yeah, that's dope. Yeah, and he comes with a lot of different type of hands, open, close, you name it. But let's take a closer look at the two different head sculpts that he come with. Yeah, this is really nice. I really like this one. Also looks like Toby, so that's dope. He, I really want to repaint it, but I don't want to mess it up. But I see what this guy really needs. A little bit extra touch up. So yeah, might do it. Not sure if I will. And the other head sculpt that I also think <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's, uh, he's laughing. Eyes look a little bit weird because they're not painted in right, but head sculpt itself it's, it's fun with a little bit added you can use it so yeah. so yeah those are the accessories for the figure he comes with really the head sculpt could have been better on this guy but let's focus but it's not terrible or something so yeah actually kind of it, it grows on you let me say it like that i see people replacing the head sculpt i understand why do i feel like he needs it no the way the figure comes it's great and after how much years 10 maybe more 15 years we finally get a new toby figure so yeah i'm not gonna complain for the articulation um, butterfly joints and the SHF arms so yeah the range is okay watch out you don't want to break it because I see a lot of guys breaking their figures already especially with this guy I cannot recommend enough shock oil use it man use it better and more uh, shock oil than uh, break your figure so yeah just be careful and the way he can go back is really nice with the butt flaps people complain about it <laughs> i also don't i'm not a real big fan of the butt flaps but yeah it's uh, the way tamashi makes sure uh, we can get all the crazy spidey poses <laughs> so yeah that's nice so for the legs <laughs> double bend upper thigh knee and toe articulation and yeah you can uh, go 360 at the top this part it it, it won't go it, it, this part just front and back 360 just won't work because of the way the belt is molded around the figure so that's something you might want to know but yeah be careful with the arms with the packs and you don't want to snap them off and overall uh, i think it's uh Especially because it's Toby, my favorite Spidey. I grew up with this guy. So yeah, it's great to have him in the collection. You don't want to miss out on this guy. Yeah, let's look at that, the way he looks. It's dope. Nice. So let's take a closer look at Phantom. So yeah, guys, here we got Phantom with my custom tendrils. And yeah, I just repainted them. So let's put this aside. So let's take a closer look at Venom. So yeah, I really think this came out looking nice. So yeah, I just gave it a black wash with a extra black paint because Venom he just looked blue. Uh, I don't know why Tamashi did that, but 
it looked really really blue and I didn't like that so for the eyes I just did a extra light blue around the eyes and made everything black and the veins uh, made sure I hit them with white again so it they really pop and also let me remove these also at the waist so and the legs so you get more depth in the legs in the muscle tissue and the abs so he looks more menacing also in the back I think they did a great great job on this Venom the muscles and stuff I really like this they did great on this guy uh, especially with the head sculpts they really do look menacing they really do scream Venom so that's nice so yeah let's put this guy in the back so let's go over accessories with this guy he comes with two closed fists nothing special same thing made him black go over it with white so that's nice uh, he comes with pointy fingers <laughs> not sure when he used this in the movie but it's nice for uh, funny pictures and poses so that's fun and he comes with another head sculpt that I really really like it's a full open mouth an alien looking head sculpt where he's screaming or eating or is about to bite someone's head off so yeah also repainted yeah nice and here he is with my half Tom Hardy head sculpt and yeah it's just a 50-50 head it came out looking really nice so yeah you can really see Tom Hardy in here but yeah I really think Tom Hardy does a great job with Venom do I think the movies are good meh not really though could have been better do I like Tom Hardy as an actor yes do I think the lines that he get really represent Venom uh, or Eddie Brock I don't know man but I really like Tom Hardy as an actor so yeah that's dope and I just wish he was in the MCU Venom the character or Eddie Brock just something uh, I know we got a teaser from it just a little piece that stays behind uh, in uh, MCU but yeah we got to see how that will turn out he also comes with these tendrils you can plug them in the back they are articulated but yeah I don't I'm not a big fan of these uh, I just prefer my own they look way doper and uh, they move way smoother than this does and these are just two tendrils that's it is it dope that he gave it yes yeah. and the articulation on it yeah it's fine so yeah it's just my preference i like my own more but if you want to put these on go ahead they're not bad so yeah i really like this and this is probably one of the greatest things that i had the extra small phantom head skull with all the extra slime on him so yeah really dig this and yeah this makes for fun pictures especially when you plug it on on spideys and stuff so, yeah. looks nice this piece is really dope so yeah let's go over articulation with venom Let's zoom out a bit because he's a beefy boy. So yeah, I really like the movements on this guy. The butterfly joints, the ab crunch and stuff. It's really, really nice. It goes front and back really well. Same for the arms. And everything is uh, 360, double elbow. Really nice. The legs can go up really, really far. So you can get Venom in those really crazy Venom poses those creepy poses so yeah that's really nice and don't forget 
that those those are also articulated so yeah it's a great piece great figure articulation is great not not nothing bad about this figure it's uh i'm not sure if it's easy to get at the moment but when i pre-ordered it he went really fast so sold out really fast so yeah if you missed out too bad but if you can get him go get him because yeah great fake and here he is next to green goblin this is uh, the old school toy base green goblin that i customed upgraded to the no way home version and the way it looks right now it's okay i did pre-order the new shf people complain about the price yeah uh what should i say shf prices sometimes don't really make sense but if they deliver like they did with venom and yeah toby is okay and i hope carfield is fine the shf then no complaints here man uh, i mean import figures do cost more but the quality is also way better uh, i also stopped buying let me say stop i'm buying way less marvel legends at the time because in the past couple months marvel legends quality have gone way back prices have gone way up here and you get less items and yeah the articulation gets stiffer and stiffer and the paint jobs are yeah so yeah i i'm at the stage right now where i don't really care about the money i really want something that's articulated and looks really nice so i rather pay a little bit more and get something really cool than buy something that's yeah shitty sorry to say that but yeah that's just me but let's go to the next one and here he is next to the toy biz spidey i repainted this guy way back and after that i just left it the joints are way loose right now <laughs> uh, yeah i just kept the figure this is still the first one that i had and uh, I, I have a new one in box with the statue and everything but i'm gonna keep it in the box and uh, leave this one as it is and yeah i'm really glad shf gave us this one so yeah here he is with sandman and this sandman from marvel select uh yeah marvel select sandman great figure really recommend it comes with a lot uh, had to open up a couple parts inside gave him more space so he has more articulation after that great figure man he's a bit tall but i do like sandman being a little bit taller than spidey especially with uh comic spidey i don't really mind sandman being taller and uh, bigger so yeah and for toy shots with this looks really dope and here he is next to my custom toy biz dr octopus i gave him extra long tendrils all movable articulated repainted him fully gave him more range so yeah this is probably uh, my favorite villain figure movie accurate movie villain figure that i have for the spidey collection and here he is surrounded with ox tentacles and yeah just this figure pose really nice and if you got a couple accessories for this guy makes it really pop i really hope we get another version from dr octopus in the future because tom holland spidey i really want to see him up against and dr octopus or another villain that we already had but it's multiverse so we haven't seen uh doc ock in our own universe so just recast them and give us another doc ock new origin or something just or olivia from into the spider verse would be really fun to see and here he is chilling on the desk from uh, john jameson and jonah just chilling making him mad and here we got fed on with my custom no way home mayfax figure i made him from a original far from home figure so yeah it's really nice and it fits really well with this venom uh yeah really hyped for the future for spider-man uh, i really hope everything with jonathan majors comes clean and clear 
so we can continue because I thought Kang did a great job, Jonathan did a great job, and the build-up was nice. Ant-Man and the Wasp could have been better, but we finally got a dope future villain, and it just stopped. So, yeah, same thing with Ultron. Ultron was great in the movie. Uh, I did not really like the jokes and stuff, but other than that, Ultron was a great villain. Avengers 2 could have been better, but the villain was great. I just want more villains like Killmonger, Hela, uh, and yeah, what they did with uh, Christian Bale and Thor. They really butchered the butcher. That was really, really bad. And here we have the extra part that Venom comes with. The extra loose head. And as you can see, fits really nice with this Spider-Man. And yeah, build up man, hype for the future. Since Spidey doesn't have friends anymore, I really hope we see him bond with Venom. And after that becomes a little bit darker and darker and darker. Would be That would be really great. So yeah guys, this was the review. I did Toby and Venom with a couple extra figures in between. So yeah, I hope you like this review. For more pictures, go to my IG. Once again, thanks for watching guys. Go work out. Job less. Thanks for watching. Later guys.